you come on Thursdays, game one. Because we all get to decide. The business, the way to shoot the video. Okay, just to get a little sense of the room, I don't have a lot of time with you guys today, but I do look forward to seeing a lot of you in June as we go deeper into the conversation on how to, like Alfonso said, not find investors, how to have investors come to you. And I can speak to this because, and before I actually go into it, is this a safe room for me in yeah. terms of can I share some numbers without sounding like the kids say flexing or bragging? Is that okay? Yes. Cool? All right, because again, to get also a sense of the room, who follows me on social media in some concept in terms of a podcast? Ooh, that hurts the ego a little bit. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, I have a real estate organization that we've accumulated a list of investors that we help purchase properties of a little over 12,365 people. We did that by the few things that I'm gonna be able to touch on, specifically the, the time that I have allotted to me today is through social media and branding. One of the other ways that we've been able to do that is build an email list, something I strongly urge everyone here to start considering and building, because as you be, grow out your portfolio, and I'm sure if it hasn't been touched on yet, it will be on the week, during the weekend, financing becomes tough through the traditional ways of investing into real estate, something that you have to do is raise capital. And you do that by meeting other people and doing joint ventures. But you're not gonna be able to stay in contact with them by putting their names and numbers on the back of a tissue box. You're gonna need to build a list so you can go out to them consistently. Another way that we've attracted a lot of investors is doing educational events. But the most powerful tool has been social media. Now, there's a few ways of doing social media. There's what I call long form content, and then there's short form content. Short form, for today's conversation, just so I can define some terms and we're all on the same page, short form would be a minute and less video. Long form would be anything above a minute, but traditionally speaking, it's anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. Now you could do that through actually recording a video and putting it up on YouTube. You can also consider doing what I did six years ago and start an audio podcast. And one of the reasons why was because I was terrified of the camera. Can anybody, can anyone say to me right now that they're okay with the camera? Put up your hands. Good, two of you. Because we're gonna do something today where I know you've been sitting and you've been moving around as, a, as Alfonso had you do some exercising just before I came up. But I want you to leave with an actual tool of something that you've done. So if you're scared, you might wanna leave right now. All right, we got a, a good room here today, Alfonso. What I decided to do was an audio podcast. Again, terrified of the camera, but I also realized though with an audio pa uh, podcast, being of East Indian descent, I like things that are free sometimes. 
My mom negotiates over apples back home, so I like the fact that I was able to distribute some type of content without any cost. And because it's not regulated by the CRTC, I'm able to speak about whatever I wanted to speak about. Over time, what I realize is that if I put a camera on and not even speak to it, what I can do is with that 30-minute conversation, I can start to put out more content through the short-form way, which is the minute videos or less. But it didn't take more time from me. So I was able to apply what I call NET, N-E-T, no extra time. I was able to take a video, of 30 minutes long and start chopping it up so I can have more content out in the social media platforms. Because I need everyone here to understand something. You are not able to sell anything to anyone until you have their awareness first. If you're a business owner and you have a product or service, I bumped into a couple of real estate professionals in the bathroom. Investors who are thinking about raising capital. If you don't have someone's awareness, you're not able to tell them about your product or service. And in 2024, everyone's awareness is on six to seven platforms. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, YouTube. And so it's a very good idea that you find a way to get on these platforms. Now, if you're scared to do video, I completely understand. I'm gonna help you through that today. There is other mediums that you can get started with. Because we as humans, we consume content not only through video. We do consume content through podcasts. Who in this room has listened to a podcast in the last 30 days? Put up your hand. Okay, keep your hands up for me, please. Everyone in the room, look around. Now, keep your hand up if you put out a podcast minimum once every two weeks. You actually put out a podcast. Keep your hand up. The good-looking guy in the middle. Okay, another good look. He just wanted me to say he's another good-looking guy. That's what you're, <laughs> I could tell. I know, I know what you were doing there because you weren't sure. So think about this, guys. Everyone here listens to a podcast. Who here either goes on Facebook or Instagram at least once a day? Put up your hands. Keep your hands up. If you produce one piece of content on Facebook or Instagram a day, keep your hands up. Again, seven, eight people. So that's where the opportunity lies. Let me replay that for everyone. I know it's a little late on a Friday and people are thinking about Ruth's Chris Steakhouse right now, which is right next door. I get it. Everyone in the room goes on these platforms every single day, but less than 3% of the room produces content. That equals opportunity. Your fellow investors, the people that you're thinking about that might do a joint venture with you, you know where they're partying now. If you knew that there was a party happening tonight where people were all talking about raising capital, it might be a good idea to go there. Would everyone agree? That's what's happening on these online platforms. I'm a kid from the north part of Toronto, actually two minutes away from where we are right now. I was born and raised here. It's the area that people sometimes told you you might want to put up your windows, keep your windows up. Back in the days, I barely passed high school. In fact, 50% of the words I'm saying to you today, I can't even spell. I was born with a lazy eye. Doctors tried to fix it. I have sweat born with sweaty hands. I've done this talk a thousand times. I have a stutter sometimes because my mind is moving faster than my lips. 
I tell you this because no matter what, your own vibe will always attract your tribe. Nobody is thinking about you as much as you think they're thinking about you. I'm going to say this again, just for the people in the back. Nobody is thinking about you as much as you think that they're thinking about you because you're not that important. <laughs> Me included. So as you're worried about what your high school friend is thinking about as you put out a video or you put out a piece of content, I'm here to tell you, A, we're, not, we're no longer in high school. Might be time to get over that shit. B, as they scroll past your piece of content, they moved on. And as I said, if this is a safe room, and if I can share some numbers, by putting out content daily, I've been able to earn in the last five years through social media a little over $16 million dollars by consistently putting out content and becoming the authority within the greater Toronto area when it comes to real estate. <laughs> I tell you guys that and I appreciate the round of applause, not to impress you. Mommy and daddy for me filled up my cup a long time ago. So I don't need that, I do appreciate it. I tell you that to impress upon you the importance and the opportunity that lies in front of you right now, which might not be here for that long, which is letting the world hear and see you more consistently. Because as the world gets to hear and see you more consistently, they get to make a decision if they want to work with you or not. And once you get over the fact of putting yourself out there, you get to the next phase, which is understanding that some will, some won't, so the fuck what? Ooh, the F-bomb came. Is everybody a little uneasy right now? Get over it. Say this with me. Some will, some won't. I'll let the F bomb out. So what? Come on, one more time. Some will, some won't. So what? All right, we're going to have some fun right now. Everyone here is going to record a video. Okay? It's a very simple video that you're going to record. Because you're here. You took the time. Start the process of getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Life is not supposed to be easy. Nobody promised you that. And whoever did, would they lied to you. Because we all know, practice makes what? Bullshit. It's another lie. Stop telling it to you your family members. Practice makes one thing. It can't make something that doesn't exist. It can't make perfect. It doesn't exist. What practice makes is progress. The reason you want to practice something over and over and over again, because you will get better over time. For you to compare yourself to Alfonso's 800th video is unfair to him, and it's unfair to yourself. You're just getting started. So the video you're going to shoot, you don't actually need a script. The video we're going to shoot, and we're going to do it together. Can I borrow you, Bo or Clyde? Clyde, you're next to me. Can you borrow you? Does everybody have a phone in their hands? Please put up your hands. All right, good job. And the ones that didn't put up your hands, I know you're lying because you know I'm going to ask you to use the phone. <laughs> you're going to partner up. 
We don't have a lot of time together right now, so I ask you to do this quite quickly. Try it with me. Are we ready to play big? Yeah. Let me hear it again. Who's ready to play big? Yeah. All right. We're not only going to put this, we're not, not only going to shoot the video, but I'm not going to allow you to be 99% of the time that leave the video in their drafts, in their phone, because they're worried about the hair and the makeup and the lighting. I know who, that, there you go. You're going to do something today that's going to get you out of your comfort zone. I know you've been comfortable sitting and listening to the people that have been speaking, because that's easy. Let's take action today. So not only are you going to shoot this video, you're going to partner up with the person beside you, and we're going to post this video. Because in the hundreds of times I've done this, I've never had anybody faint on me. So don't please be the first group to do that. Everything's going to be OK. You're going to partner up. The person that's holding the phone is going to press record. And as they press record, the videographer in your partnership is going to nod his or her head to let you know it's on. And you are going to tell your story on why you decided that real estate was the vehicle that you're choosing to create wealth and possibly get out of the rat race with. That might be your reason, it might be a different reason. The best thing is, is you, I can't give you a script for this because it's not the same for everyone. So whatever reason you're choosing real estate as the vehicle to help you create wealth, I want you to just tell the camera. Now, the videographer has a job. At 50 seconds, he or she as the videographer, is going to put up a fist. That fist tells you, the person who's speaking, wrap up your shit, you got 10 seconds. <laughs> and then we're going to switch. I'm going to do a little sample for you. You can take my story if it's the truth. I highly recommend you telling your own story, because we're going to start the process and the journey of you telling the world why you chose real estate. And then, as we post it, you're going to write a caption. This is why I'm choosing real estate. And I ask that you use the hashtag. What's the hashtag, my friend, team? Expo. What, hashtag Wealth Genius Expo. I also ask, if you're comfortable, to tag me, JazzTacR13. You guys can write that down, J A S. T-A-K-H-A-R, and my lucky number 13. Because what I will do is I will repost every single one of your videos that can now go out to my community of investors. And maybe one of you are better looking than me. J-A-S-T-A-K-H-A-R, and the number 13. I will repost every single one of your videos that has the hashtag as well. Hashtag Wealth Genius Expo. And one of my guys or gals might just be attracted to you because they like the way that you look or what you said because their story resonates with, your story will resonate with them. Who knows? Maybe nothing will happen. The one thing I'll tell you is that you took action. And for everyone who's worried about the way that they look and they sound, you look the way that you fucking look and the, you, you sound the way you sound. <laughs> you can't change that.
We good? We good? All right. He's going to give me the head nod. I probably won't even go as far as 50 seconds because I need to wrap this up. I'll maybe take a, some Q&A if I, we have time. The faster you guys do this, I personally think you guys get the most value if you get a quick Q&A with me from the stage because whatever you're thinking, it's usually reflective of 10,000 other people thinking it. So the faster you do the, your video and they do theirs and you post it, we can get to Q&A. Got it? We good? Go. One of the reasons I got into real estate is because I actually saw one of my neighbors at a very young age shoveling the snow of like four or five houses. And I was like, holy crap, man, like what? Like, is he a landscaper dude or what, what does he actually do? Talk to him a little bit. He told me that he actually owns these properties and he rents them out. Went through the whole process of like cash flow and passive appreciation and mortgage pay down. And I was hooked. Just took me a little time to get started, but that's why I chose real estate as the place for me to create wealth for me and my family. Okay? Now, I've probably done that video, guys, over 500 times. It's never the same. Why? Because the story's the same, but the way that I say it about the old man that I saw shoveling the snow, it just comes out a little different sometimes. Now, I'm able to do that in one take, but there were some ums, there were some ahs. But if, you went to the, if we went right now to the bar and we had some drinks and the ums and ahs came out and I said to you, stop. Sorry, I just said some ums and ahs. I'm gonna leave the bar and come back and have this, start this conversation. You'd be like, bro, what drugs are you on? That's weird, it's okay. But yet when we come on video, we feel like we need to showcase someone different. But then when you show up in real life, you're like, what? You're not that scripted, you've changed. So why not give them that feel of you right from the start? Hands up one more time really quickly and then we're gonna shoot this video. Who follows me on social media? You see me here for the first time or the 50th time. Am I any different? I already know you're either gonna like me or not like me. You like me, great, let's do some business. You don't like me, awesome. You're not gonna waste your time, I'm not gonna waste my time, let's move on. Okay, you got five minutes each. So that's a total of 10. Am I okay with that, Alfonso, if I give them 10 minutes? Okay, you gave me the thumbs up. You guys excited about this? Go, shoot, you got the whole room, go. Out. wherever you are in North America right now you're missing out get to the next expo oh and I can't wait for expand happening in June June 28th oh. 30. oh big, my god big, big thing my god they're actually doing the work yes. they're actually doing the work it's time to get comfortable with being uncomfortable guys that's where everything exists that you're looking for in your life it's happening right outside your comfort zone let's go come on back Okay, look around for maybe somebody who snuck out to the bathroom and they don't know, like I invented that, teacher I'll be back and never came back kind of thing. Um, look around, nobody fainted. Nobody fainted. Was it as bad as you thought it was gonna be? Now here's where we'll, we'll tell who's lying or not. Who posted the video, put up your hand. Okay. Someone said I'm gonna edit it first. If I can make a suggestion, don't edit it. Because the second you go into editing mode, that's where you start to see something in your face or you get to hear something in your voice that makes you wanna shoot it again. And that's when you say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning before I get back to the event. And then tomorrow morning, you spill coffee on yourself for some reason, and then that fucks up your whole day. You forget to shoot the video, and then you never do it. So, I can tell you with now a little over 18,000 hours of video content that I have online, I've used the script this many times. 
you guys see my beautiful PowerPoint presentation? <laughs> yeah. Because see, when you speak straight from the heart, people can feel it and they can hear it. So who did post the video? Okay. Three people. Four people, five. Tag me, put the hashtag on. And everyone else, you have to ask yourself why you did it. What's holding you back? The opinions of people that don't even really matter. The worry that someone's gonna say you look weird. Oh, what are you doing? That social media stuff is for kids. But then when you see the three, four people that took action, they took action on a small step, and then what you can do is build them on small steps, and then you're gonna see them doing a testimonial video of how many properties they earned because they know how to take action. You're gonna ask yourself, why not me? Because you didn't put in the work. And to be mad at yourself for the work that you don't put in and not get results for is weird. How could you be mad at yourself for the results you didn't get for the work you never put in? See, the top 1%, i.e. the three to four people that posted it, they do what 99% of you don't do. I got about five more minutes left because I see my boy Apollo doesn't mind that tells me to love you though. I know. <laughs> I know. And he's like, Jazz, I gotta move. I'm gonna take some quick, quick questions, rapid fire them at me. Go, first. Your name, sir. Uh, Diego. Diego, what's up? What would you say inspired you to start speaking and sharing uh, your vision, kind of where you wanted to go and, and your, your knowledge as well? Um, just gratefulness. I mean, my father's a, a taxi driver his whole life, my mother was a factory worker her whole life. Grade four and grade eight education. They came to Canada in 1974. I was a kid who saw them pinch pennies on, on the mattress. And no matter how many calls they got from the teachers and the principal, that telling them that their kid, there's something wrong with them, we should give them some drugs, get them tested. My parents every day told me that I was enough. And so I said, now, why not me? See, I never asked myself the question, why someone has more than me. Because I realize that there will always be people who have more than me, there will always be people who have less than me. Now I'm at the stage of my life, it's why not me? Why am I the guy always on the stage if people want to get information from? And so to answer your question, gratefulness. Every day, every day I start my day the same way. Because I feel best when someone hugs me. You probably feel best when someone hugs you and kisses you. You can have that feeling at any minute of the day. Give it to yourself first. And you look at yourself in the mirror when you're driving and say, mm, fuck Jazz, I love you. You don't have to say Jazz, I love you. You can say your name. And fill up your own cup because you can't give anyone something until your own cup is filled. People have a negative connotation around being self, uh, selfish. How can you be selfless without first being selfish? Give to yourself so you can give to others. You want to make money in this world? I'll give you the secret sauce right now, guys. Make other people money. You'll have more than you ever dreamt of. And that's what Alfonso does. That's it. <laughs> I think one more. Are you guys okay if I take one more, or should I go? Okay, one more? Just, talk, just say to Alfonso, one more. One more question. My ladies, because we already took a man. Who's a, who, is there any other question? 
Everyone yeah. still can ask a question? There we go, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Sal. Um, <clears throat> spicy. Spicy sal. Spicy sal. Spicy sal. Uh, spicy. Hey man, I like spicy <laughs> Indian food too. <laughs> My question is, uh, when did you uh, feel like it was your aha moment when you were doing your social media? Um, that's a great question. My aha moment probably came when I got to meet a, a gentleman by the name of uh, Gary V, who I was, who gave me the idea about podcasting. I got to meet him and do a podcast with him in his office, and he let me sit down with his team. He didn't know it was for me. So he said, "Make yourself comfortable." And I was like, Are "You sure, bro?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah. Do what you want." I stayed there for like nine hours. <laughs> no exaggeration. I had it all on tape, and I picked the brain of brains of his whole team on how did he take a 30 minute podcast and get 40 to 50 clicks. That changed the game for me because I, can't, I run two organizations. I run a real estate company of 52 realtors and I have a coaching company for real estate professionals. And so my time is, you know, I don't have a lot of it sometimes. And so when I, I know the importance of content, I spend zero money on marketing and advertising. What I do spend money on is my videographers. I have five of them, um, obviously, because I, was like, this is it. All I gotta do is content all day long. <coughs> and people get to see me on social media and then they get to make the decision. That answer your question? Yeah, thank you. All right, I'll stick around for another 15, 20 minutes. Not on stage, obviously. Um, if you guys have more questions, then a round of applause. Yes!